Welcome to the NBA Desktop. This NBA season, Mountain Dew is all about the threes, the shot that's changing the game. You know who's hitting threes? Trey Young. We've all had to apologize at different times in our life, and I would like to take this time to apologize to Trey Young, who is hitting threes from the logo with regularity. Trey, I'm sorry. You're incredible. Brought to you by Mountain Dew, the official beverage of the NBA. Do the do. Late last week. <laughs> Dion Waiters OD'd on gummies during an hour and a half flight from Phoenix to LA. <laughs> Just so you know that he's fine. Shams Charania had this to say about Gummy Gate. Gummy Gate? The Heat believe Waiters was given the gummy by a teammate, but Waiters has been reluctant and has decided not to say who provided it. Sources tell The Athletic, yeah! Dion, I support you. Who among us has not taken an edible on a plane? Now, those of you who have never had a freak out on edibles, raise your hand. Exactly, we've all done it. <laughs> I'll share with you a little story. Recently I was on a red eye. I hadn't eaten since lunch. I sat down in my seat. I punched Avengers Endgame into the TV screen and I fell asleep. Woke up feeling like I had to throw up. Went to go stand in line for the bathroom and next thing I know I was face down <laughs> over the seats. I had passed out. People got on the thing. Is there a doctor? He came up. They gave me a couple of crackers. I laid down and I felt great. Did you tell the doctor that, that you had taken a... What? <laughs> I'm just asking. What? All I'm saying is it can happen. And I support you, Dion, in this. And I respect the fact that you didn't snitch. And in fact, Dion, who has been suspended 10 games by the Heat, should have his suspension cut in half to five for not snitching on okay. who the player might be. And now, uh, NBA desktop investigation. Who gave Dion Waiters a gummy? Let's take a look at the evidence, shall we? There are many suspects. It doesn't just have to be a player. It could be a member of the Heat staff. It could have been anyone. That being said, here's James Johnson absolutely <laughs> smacked in bed. <laughs> <laughs> I think the, the prime suspect might be this guy who looks high on Instagram. <laughs> Elementary, my dear Watson. And now with some spice, our good friend Tyler Parker. As a tall guy. Give us the stats. I am 6'5". With shoes on, I'm 6'5". With the wallabies on. With the wallabies, I'm 6'5". Get the wallabies. Rich, Richie. get the wallabies! Thank you. 6'5", <laughs> air travel, yes. tell me. I can't fall asleep on planes because I'm so tall. And so if you are trying to sleep on a plane and you've got people next to you, that's gonna hurt your neck. You can't really, your legs are too big so you can't really get sideways to do much of anything. What kind of insane person can fall asleep sitting straight up? <laughs> What's your now hold you, he took the he took the gummy <laughs> to help him go to sleep. Like, it was an said, hour and a half flight. Look, man, sometimes you got to be no holds barred when it comes to sleep. Who among us has not had? It's true. I, had I, had a, had a drink or two on I a flight told, to kind of settle the nerves, relax the muscles, and kind of you know knock off. A little I take bit. edibles on every single plane. So do you really? Yeah. Do they help a lot? It feels great. <laughs> yes. That's yes. awesome. Man. <laughs> Guys. Let's talk about the Knicks. It is 10.58 Thursday morning. By the time people watch this video, David Fisdale very well may be fired. <laughs> Scott Perry, he looks like he is the stepdad going with his wife to the parent-teacher conference yeah. of the child who is not his biological child, who is a fucking fuck up. That's what he looks like. Also, like, you can't see it here, but there's a gun off screen that is forcing them to be making this statement. Yeah. What does this tell you? That James Dolan is angry. Here's Frank Isola, the Knicks whisperer. Throwing Fisdale under the bus is a Knicks tradition. Dolan is plotting to take another run at Toronto Raptors president Masai <laughs> I'm sickened by this. Clippers played the Rockets and Austin Rivers played a role in getting his father, biological father, let me stress that, his biological father teed up and ejected. <laughs> Get him out of there. Here is Austin after the game. You know, that's just 100%. You know, Doc's gotta keep his cool. <laughs> now, everybody has known someone who called their dad by their first name or their mom by their first name. That speaks to issues, I think. No one who has a good relationship with their parents calls them by their first name. Yep. Agree? Here is Doc popping up on Instagram where fathers and sons always connect. <laughs> That's how you know you've got a healthy relationship. <laughs> when you're commenting on your son's Instagram, Doc Rivers, hilarious, dot, 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 love you. <laughs> 
Let me say this. The most guy way to say I love you is to say love you. You don't put the I in there. The I is too much. That's too vulnerable because now it just love you. That's just the general love you. Who? I don't know. Me? Maybe. Just love you. That's it. If you put the I in there, now it's like, oh, Jesus. Anyway, the Rivers household is fantastic. And now, with Spice, improviser, co-host of the Flagrant Ones podcast on Patreon, please drop the bag on that. Carl Tart with some Spice, what do you have, Carl? Listen, man, Austin's nuts finally dropped last night. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> he got at his daddy. He snapped at his daddy, it was over. <laughs> Got his dad teed up. Gonna be Thanksgiving time. And Austin's gonna be like, excuse me, uh, Doc, is it? Can you pass me the potatoes? He's like, why don't you get the refs to pass you the potatoes, huh? Shit. <laughs> tell, tell, tell him. Well, the potatoes are closer to you if you, well, technically speaking. <laughs> He's gonna start having everybody call him doctor now. It's Dr. Rivers. Carl, thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Fave blocks. Oh, the slap. Luka Doncic got slapped. Watch this. <laughs> He's like, wait, did you just slap me literally in the face? <laughs> this is insane. I block it. Don't touch your players. Like, why is that coach not suspended? And now, with Spice, our good friend, Chris Ryan. Chris, what What's do you up, have? everybody? You may remember me as a sleeper agent in the Russell Westbrook Cold War. <laughs> Just coming back to say what's up. Hey, Jackson, what's uh, Luka Doncic's uh, season averages this year? Uh, 28 points, 10 rebounds, 9 assists. 28, 10, and 9. How about that? Here's what I want. All of you suckers out there who oh! are giving Russ shit for years for stat padding, for chasing triple doubles. You better be in my timeline when Luka Doncic does the same damn thing or I'm gonna be up in your crib Thank like you. a Mandalorian asking Thank for you. justice for Russ. Nobody gets a triple double without stat padding. Luka's just doing it with a new ice cream flavor. <laughs> Fuck out of here, man. That is hot and I love it. <laughs> oh, Nick Nurse got a challenge in, yay. Nick Nurse won the challenge. I block it. Ooh, waffles for the table. Here's Robert Covington eating what is purported to be a Stroop waffle on the bench. Here is Paul Flannery, our good friend, waffle splaining. That's probably a Stinger waffle. Hold on a second. Let's Stinger waffle. Bun -um, bun -um, bun. Oh yeah, Stroop waffle. Well, I gotta tell you, it's very tough. I'm guessing it's a Stinger waffle. Let me just say this. Also, can these dudes get a moment of privacy? Yes, Paul Flannery, they can. We're not filming Robert Covington eating a waffle in his bathroom. He's sitting on the bench in a sports <laughs> arena, surrounded by 25 cameras. <laughs> it's fine. I fave it. Incredible stuff. Honoring the troops at Stable Center, the Clippers mascot, Chuck the Condor, helping one of our brave veterans to the center of the court to be honored and then stop. <laughs> Here's the thing, I get it. You're a mascot, I gotta be doing bits all the time. Don't do this. <laughs> the guy's a hundred and fucking four. <laughs> he can't defend himself anymore. And you're putting your fucking gloved talon in his ear. Why? Wow. I block it. <laughs> Don't 